Hey everyone, so a long time ago, like a year ago, I made this video about how to develop film from start to finish, and I showed this film washing tub in there, and I completely forgot that I'd said, oh, I'll just in a couple weeks make a video about this. Well, someone reminded me in a comment a few days ago, so I wanted to get on this before I forgot it. So here is my homemade film washing device. This can take uh, three to four rolls of 35 millimeter film. I think it takes takes three pretty pretty readily, and it's what it it's made of in, is a very simple plastic jug with flat sides. That's required. It doesn't have to be a flat jug like this. If you had um, an old Tupperware that was used for spaghetti that had a flat side or something like that. Uh, that would work too. It's just you cannot have a, a, a circular. You can't have a circular shape because it won't work. So it's pretty simple. It requires a short length of, of rope, waterproof rope. You don't want something organic like hemp which could rot because you're going to put a, a short piece of metal over it to help guide it through the center of the film. And then a little washer at the end. I chose brass because it's not likely to rust. It's uh, starting to come through that knot a little bit. And then you need a longer piece of aluminum that's flanged at the ends and bent. I'll show you how to do this uh, myself. And you're, for the aluminum, you're going to need a plumbing cold cutter. And what that is, is it looks like a little C-clamp, and it has uh, cutting wheels on each side of it. And you just, uh, as you, as you re rotate it around the aluminum pipe, you tighten the wheels a little bit, and then it cuts the pipe. You also need this flat-sided, a flat-sided plastic container. It's got to be plastic because you're going to cut into it. You really don't want to use glass for this. A very short length of garden hose, standard garden hose, a couple of plumbing fittings, which I'll show you, a single uh, plastic gasket just for leak tightness, but most importantly, on your faucet, you need to put a garden hose adapter. So I took my standard faucet uh, aerator off, put on this garden hose adapter, and then got another aerator that goes on the end of it. I could have put my standard aerator back on it, but I just decided, eh, I want something nicer that can actually spray around my sink a little bit. So that's what you're going to need. Now to start off with, what you want to do is drill a hole into the side. Ooh, that's this garden hose won't come off of this plastic fitting uh, any ever again. So, what you need to do is measure the size of your plastic fittings. And then you want to put a oops, hole in the plastic tub that is the size of the smaller of the two plastic fittings. So you can see the, the white plastic one is the male and the gray plastic is the female. And you want your two fittings to form a U-shape when they're connected. And that, and I'll show you why that is in a bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your gasket and you're going to put it over the male end. You're going to feed the male end through there, through the hole that you've made, and then you're going to thread it onto the female end. And you can see that the female end isn't, it's not able to rotate, Oops, it's not able to rotate in there. So you've actually got to rotate the male end which was a lot easier before I put the hose on, I promise. Eh. Uh, why did I glue the hose on? Because I didn't know I'd ever take this apart, that's why. Oh, come on. Eh. Uh, I really, I don't do these to be comedic. I don't. It just happens sometimes. I don't even know if it's tightening anymore. Oh, there we go. We're getting close. Okay, now once it gets close, oops. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold, I'm going to tighten it and rotate and tighten it. Oops, tighten it, tighten it, rotate. Uh, how am I even doing this? I don't know. This was so much easier when it was just okay. Well, all right. So this time when I put it together, it's not going to form a U shape. That's not the end of the world. The important part is that the nozzle sprays inside slightly upward so that you're going to create a circular flow that moves upward inside of this plastic container. Okay? 
And again, the gasket keeps leaks and stuff like that. Then, to use it, you just simply connect your hose to your hose spigot adapter on your sink. And if you don't want to use your kitchen sink, uh, I don't care because chemicals are, chemicals are tasty and if they're in my food, it's just tastier food for me. Uh, it was disgusting to think about even. Um, anyway, if you don't use your kitchen sink, you can use a bathroom sink and it's the same size thread. You just have to get the, kitchen, the garden hose adapter for it. And then the garden hose adapter has the garden hose adapter on the outside and then on the inside it has a smaller adapter for the um, faucet aerator. And that's how this, this whole thing it, it works. And that was actually the most expensive part. It was $5. I think everything taken in total here cost me $22-ish, give or take. So, all right. So the next step is, so you've got the hole. Now you need to put a couple notches into the plastic tub up here and in the back here. And the reason is because this is going to go over the top of the tub like this. And what it's going to do is the film is going to go on to this rope. The rope's going to go through here and then that's going to hang. And then as the water is moving up and around, it's going to be moving up through the film, taking the chemicals off of it and uh, freeing the film of the chemicals, and that's, that's what the whole washing process is for. This is a very efficient way because it lifts the chemicals up and away from the film. So to make this, this is actually the hardest thing to make. Once you've got the um, piece of aluminum cut down to size, you can see it's kind of got a tapered end right here. Actually, it has a tapered end. That didn't come that way. So I cut the aluminum to the size that I needed, and I took a screw a uh, tapered head screw. And I stuck it in there and then I hammered the screw using like a piece of wood as the, on the base until I achieved this taper and then repeated it on the other side. And that gave me the taper that I needed to make sure that this wouldn't... Oops, let's try doing that while it's in focus. To make sure that it wouldn't do... it wouldn't come out uh, and fall into that and make a mess. That was the whole goal of that. You'll also notice that this has a bend to it, and that keeps it from rolling around out here, just in case. And it also gives this a natural low point in the middle, which the rope hangs from. Now this style of washer works a little bit better on 35 millimeter reels that do not have a center clip. So you can see that there's no center clip on this, just a horseshoe. And this is for, this goes around a column that you put for like large, large uh, numbers, large quantities in tanks. So you take this little, oh, so the rope, the rope is pretty simple. Just tie a, a loop in it on this end, and that's just a knot with a loop in it. You put a piece of aluminum uh, over the rope put a washer on the rope and then you tie a big knot at the other end to keep the washer from falling off. Now to thread this, the aluminum aids in the threading because if you didn't have the aluminum, well now I've just got a piece of floppy rope that might or might not push up through there. So, the aluminum helps in the threading, allows you to force it a little bit. Now once you've got all of your all of your reels on the aluminum tube. They're on the rope, rather. You feed the rope onto the aluminum tube, and now they're hanging. And this, this design will hold three, uh, actually, now that I think about it. And they're hanging in the water, and the water's going to move around them and up through them. You can, put, uh, you can put your photo flow directly in the water if you want to. Uh, you can pour some of the water off, put in your photo flow, and, and, and let it fill up again. And that will, uh, that will help rem remove hard water stains. But that's how you do it. Every single thing here I got at my local hardware store. Uh, literally, it, uh, one, one shopping run. And I just went there and said, what can I use to make one of these? And just thought about it uh, on the fly. So what you need, short length of garden hose, male and female plumbing couplings with a, with a rubber gasket and those are just standard hose hookups uh, plumbing hose hookups that you would use for like a water line for running 
water to your refrigerator or whatever. A flat sided plastic tub, a, a single length of aluminum tubing that you'll cut into two pieces, you'll flange one end of and put a bend into, and a short length, uh, a short length of rope for hanging, and then a washer at the bottom which prevents the 35 millimeter reels from falling off when you put them in the wash. You don't want the 35 millimeter reels to touch the bottom of it because uh, then they won't get the water, the water flow coming up between the, the spirals of film. Now if you hold on a second, I'm going to go grab another film tank that I, that I got, I didn't make, but it's even simpler than this to make, though it doesn't work quite as well. Alright, so here's the other film washer that I had that's really quick and simple to make. For this, all you need is a drill and an old piece of plastic, Tupperware or something like that that you're not ever going to use again. You could even use an old water bottle or um, a water jug, like a gallon water jug for this. So what you do is you just take it and you drill, I, uh, this one has six hill, holes drilled around the base of it. and so you drill a number of holes more than you will actually need and then you figure out what your water flow equilibrium is at your uh, selected water flow rate and you by uh, putting in water and then covering the holes with your fingers until you know what provides equilibri equilibrium the amount going in uh, does not exceed the or the amount coming out does not exceed the amount going in and then you permanently tape over the number of holes. You, putting in more holes and taping over them allows you to make future adjustments. And then you just turn on the water, you put your film in here, turn on the water and let it run. There is one problem with this system and that is that film chemicals float and often most of them float. And so you're not going to get as clean a wash when you do it this way as you would if you let the water come up from the bottom. But for something that could be free, uh, it does work fairly well, and it's a lot easier than having the film in the aluminum container and going back and forth and filling and dumping and filling and dumping and standing here while you do that for however long. So those are, these are two very simple, easy to make, homemade film washing tanks. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up, that lets me know I'm on the right track. If you have any comments or thoughts or questions please leave them below in the uh, comment section. Oh, electrician's tape to head off that question. Or duct tape works too. Uh, if uh, you have any suggestions, let me know. And if I have the technical knowledge and the uh, equipment, I'd be more than happy to make it. And uh, one last thing, thank you for watching.